What is up everybody, welcome to Repair Sprout YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to show you how to get more water damage restoration jobs for your restoration business using call ads. We'll cover everything you need to know to get more phone calls for your restoration business starting from today with call ads. Alright, so if you're selling water damage restoration, fire damage restoration, similar services and you want to find a way to improve your marketing strategy, then this video is perfect for you, all right? Now, before we jump, uh, jump right into the presentation, make sure to join our Facebook group. We have set up a Facebook group specifically for business owners in the restoration industry to learn digital, digital marketing for uh, free, all right? So if you have any questions about call ads, SEO, you know, web design, just join that Facebook group. The link for it will be at the very top of the description of this video and ask whatever questions you might be having, all right? So... With that out of the way, let's jump right into the presentation. Now, what are call ads? Call ads appear in search engines when a user uh, searches for a specific service in his or her local area. And this is, exact uh, this is exactly how call ads look, right? So we have, uh, these are peer or mobile, by the way, and we'll get into that in just a second. Uh, and the main point of these call ads is that a user being someone who is searching for a service, uh, can dial a business directly by tapping on this phone number. So they don't have to visit your website. They don't have to go through a landing page. They don't have to submit uh, any kind of a contact form, whatever. They can just tap on this phone number and call your business directly from Google. And this is exactly uh, the, the main you know benefit of call ads. It, you, you can quickly get in touch with uh, the business that you want. And uh, who are call ads for? Call ads are great for emergency service providers. Think of plumbers, restoration companies, and others. So uh, let's now explain uh, why this is. But to understand why, let's first go over why they're convenient for the user, meaning somebody who is searching for a service. So if the user is in a hurry, he or she doesn't have uh, to visit your website to get in touch with you. Instead, they can just call you right away. So this is great for people who are uh, ha experiencing an emergency situation. Now, why are they convenient for the advertiser being yourself? Uh, advertisers only pay for phone calls. So you only pay for people who are you know, interested in your service, who are calling on the phone, meaning that you only pay for leads. So this is not the case with regular PPC campaigns where you pay for all visitors of your website even those who immediately click off, all right? So people who click on your ad and immediately click off of your website. So you, with uh, call ads, you only pay for phone calls. In most cases, of course, there are gonna be people who are you know, accidentally going to click on the phone number, but you get the main point, right? This is the well, one of the biggest conveniences for uh, the editors when running call ads. You can also track your calls easily with call ads. You can easily track your phone calls and see which ads are working and which aren't. Uh, setting up a tracking system only takes a few minutes. Now, we're not going to dive into that in this video, but if you want me to make a specific video about this, just leave a comment down below and I'll make a quick video. I will screen record and show you how to do this. But you, you have Google's tutorials anyway. Uh, on uh, Google has uh, tutorials, written tutorials, and even video tutorials for some of the uh, you know, features of their uh, products and services, including Google Ads, you will be able to easily find how to set up tracking system if you, uh, you know, if you are struggling with this, all right? So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you need help with this. But let's now move on to how to actually set up call ads. What are the main requirements? Well, of course, you will need a Google Ads account, but you will also need a website uh, with your phone number displayed on it for verification purposes. Again, you will not don't you don't have to send people to your website, but Google just wants to see Google just wants to see that you are the actual owner of the phone number that you're using for your ads and a decent budget, of course. The average Google Ads cost per click in the restoration industry is pretty high. You know, thirty, forty, fifty dollars somewhere. It's it's even, you know, $60, $70. So expect to pay a lot for a phone call, you know, 100, 150, 200, maybe even, maybe even more, $300 per call. Uh, know that this greatly depends on your area, the competition. In some areas, it may be small, uh, it may be cheap. I mean, you know, 
it can be you know fifty dollars per call or something like that but in some areas maybe more so this vastly depends all of these numbers are, you know uh very rough estimates so take these with a grain of salt but uh just know that uh if you are in a competitive area, in metro area, you know, with a lot of competitors, uh, you know, running ads, you will be paying a lot more for calls. Now, just in case you like what you see so far, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps us see that these videos are in demand and therefore it will motivate us to keep producing more of these helpful videos. Also, if you need any help, make sure to schedule free consultation with us by going to the link in the description of this video and also, again, joining our Facebook group if you just want to ask a couple of questions. Now prepare for your call ads. Call ads show up when a user types a relevant search in Google. Uh, so make sure to conduct proper keyword research. Check out our video on keyword research and find out what people are typing in when they are in the need of a restoration service in your area. For example, I took a big city, let's you know Dallas, so Mulder Move Dallas. Uh, you can see uh, this is a Google Ads keyword planner tool that I have displayed uh, over here, uh, actually mentioned. So um, people, when they're searching for mold removal, they search for these uh, kind of terms. So you will be able to see data for your particular term that you have entered in and other similar terms. And as you can see, costs go up as high as $70 per click. So this is what I mean by you will be, uh, you're, you know, you're, you need a decent budget. So this is what I mean. The, the cost per click uh, for multi removal, actually multi mediation Dallas is $73. So you better prepare a decent budget before running Google ads. But the results are going to, you know, you, you can see results right away. So don't be scared uh, of investing money into ads, especially because with Google ads, you can, of course, if you do everything right, this is not like some kind of, I know, uh, money printer, but uh, if you do everything right, you can see results pretty quickly. And helpful tools, uh, Google Keyword Planner, uh, this tool, uh, this is the tool over here, and Google auto suggests, so basically go on Google and uh, uh, start typing in a keyword and see what Google suggests automatically. Of course, more about that in our keyword research video. Setting up call ads, uh, you need to set up a call conversion inside Google uh, Ads, so again, Google has a tutorial on this. If you need help, make sure to leave a comment. Get the location, right? The location you're servicing, you should target those locations. Of course, you don't want to be targeting locations that are irrelevant to your business. And enter the phone number exactly as it appears on your website so that Google will be able to verify that you are the owner of that phone number without a problem. And use a call tracking software. This is a big tip over here because call tracking software like CallRail will be able to provide with much more in-depth data on how your campaigns are performing, all right? And here's a bonus tip for you. Uh, create uh, regular PPC campaigns uh, with the click to call function. This way your ads, the uh, those ads you're, you're setting up will be able to reach people who are using a desktop device as well. Because with call ads, uh, you will be only be able to reach people using a mobile phone. Right, because you know desktop devices cannot dial a phone number. So uh, try testing between call-only ads and text ads with call extensions. Right, and the only con again I see is that uh, call ads can only be seen on devices that can dial a phone number. This reduces your ad reach. This is why it's important that you not you do not. Uh, solely rely on you uh, you know uh, call ads, but you know to just implement them into your overall marketing strategy right hope you enjoyed this video um if it was helpful make sure to leave a like subscribe and also check out our website uh and if you need more help just schedule a consultation or join your facebook group if you just want to ask a couple of questions a written version of this content will be available in the description of this video as well thank you for watching and yeah tune in tune in for the next video um i will see you and uh, bye-bye. Have a great day.